Ah, yes, this is the town of Benbo on the mining planet of Montressor. But then, being born here, you know all that, don't you, Jim? It's not the most exciting place in the galaxy, but we all have to start somewhere. Treasure chests are armored. The only way to open them is by combining brute force and a big, sharp object, like your sword, for instance. Now, Jim, barrels are designed to resist damage from being bumped about, so you'll have to zap them to open them. Crates are vulnerable to any form of attack you inflict upon them, be it from the employment of your laser or your sword. Ah, this door appears to be locked, Jim. Looks like you'll need to zap a switch somewhere in the immediate vicinity. That may open it right up. Jim, my dad left me in charge of the scrapyard, and there's some ugly old birds stealing spare parts. Can you help me, please? Ethan, yeah, sure.
Jim, you did it. Thank you. Here, um, I wanted to have this. You know, for helping me. My dad told me that they help spacers get between planets. And if you collect enough, you might be able to explore cool new worlds. Jim, you're a strong lad, so climbing poles and other cylindrical objects is perfectly within your capabilities. To start climbing, simply jump onto the object. On a pole, you can climb up, slide down, and shimmy around. To get down, simply jump at any time. But remember that high-velocity impact with the ground is detrimental to your health. Now, Jim, you will find that you can climb certain walls and objects such as ladders. To start climbing, simply jump onto the object. Remember to jump again when you want to get down. Just what I was looking for. If you stand on one of those pads, then you'll charge up your plasma musket. containers have been ionically tempered and are especially tough to open. You will need to pursue a decidedly physical approach, but with greater applied force than usual. In other words, smash the daylights out of them with an overhead sword attack! discover that certain objects are light enough for you to push around. If you walk up to an object and attempt to push it, you may succeed in moving the object. But remember, Jim, you are not an irresistible force. Some objects are quite stubborn and may just not move. The mechanism for this door appears to be missing a standard power diode. If you locate one and bring it back, the door should work perfectly.
believe this is what the local inhabitants call a death slide. If you jump on, you'll slide along wherever it takes you. However, make one wrong move and you may plummet off the course entirely! Remember, Jim, not everything is visible to the naked eye. Keep your wits about you and keep on the lookout for signs of hidden areas and secrets. Secret area? Yeah, I got enough treadmills to the next level. Sorry, kiddo. No one is to enter the mine unless they are a miner or an official union member. But if you really want to go in, I can probably let you- A hundred drabloons? You're kidding. I, I don't have that kind of money. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Remember. One hundred rabloons, and you are a union member for life. Ready to join the union yet? Here's the hundred drabloons for my union initiation fee. Welcome to the Interstellar Union of Miners. You will find that many doors are now open to you, including this one. Hello, 
there, boyo. You look like you could use a lift. <laughs> it's also my job to operate the machinery for the main lift to the... Yeah, sure, I'll use the lift. Mine's been overrun by bandits, and they're trying to destroy the generators. If they succeed, we'll all be trapped down here. Can you help us? You got it. I'll help stop the bandits and defend those generators.
now that the lift's working, we can all get out of the mine. As a token of our gratitude, please, take this. We found it hidden in the mine. Yeah, I got enough treasure to open up the next level. It's my responsibility to operate this here lift system. Are you want? Yes, yeah, sure, I'll use the lift. Do you want to use the lift? Yes, yeah, sure, I'll use the lift. Own a genuine relic of nautical history. Deposit your credit crystals in exchange for a piece of treasure from the hoard of the notorious Captain Flint. Thank you, valued customer. Here's your genuine piece of treasure. Certified by the Pirate Treasure Mint to be 100% authentic. Do you want to use the lift? Yes, yeah, sure, I'll use the lift. So, Jim, have we finished our adventures in the sunny town of Benbow?
Everybody's waiting for you! Give it your best shot! This is a pretty good song!
Okay. Are you ready? Show me your hottest moves. was so great, it's like sunshine on a cloudy day. Give it your best shot. I'm very curious how cool you can dance. Okay. Are you ready? Let's see your energy.
Three, two, one, go!
Welcome to Populous, the beginning. You can leave this tutorial and return to the main menu by pressing Start to bring up the pause menu, and then selecting Quit. You are now in the world view. Use the Move Map command to rotate the world, and press Action to zoom in. You can move around the world by using the Move Map buttons. You can rotate the world to view it at any angle by using the Rotate command. Press the Shaman button once to select and once more to zoom to your position. Hi. An obelisk, only a shaman can worship to gain this information. the building section of the tutorial. The fighting section of the tutorial. The spell casting section of the tutorial.
Press spell building menu twice. Move the highlight to the hut icon and press action. Move your cursor over the land. You will see that you are holding a plan. Move the plan next to the other huts and press action to place it down. The arrow indicates the entrance of the hut. Hold down action and move left and right when placing to rotate the plan. You can place multiple plans this way. Press cancel to remove the plan from your cursor. Now that you have placed down the hut plan, select your braves and press action on the plan. They will start preparing the foundations and collecting wood for construction. Press action on a hut when you have no one selected to find out who is occupying it. Full huts are upgraded over time, increasing their capacity to a maximum of five followers. Now build another hut for your braves to live in. One or more of your people cannot get to this point. When placed in huts, braves generate more mana for you and breed to increase the size of your tribe. Select your braves and press action on the building to put them in. Each hut you build increases your maximum population by three. The people in this hut are producing mana. A full hut breeds new followers more quickly than an empty one. Worship this obelisk to finish the building section of the tutorial. Kai. Ha. Ha. One or more of your people cannot get to this point. Braves sent to a warrior training hut become warriors. Training uses mana. Try training two warriors by selecting the braves and press action on the warrior hut to command them to train. Move 
your cursor over your brave and press action to select him. Then move your cursor over the enemy brave and press action to attack him. You have defeated the enemy brave. This is a warrior. He is much better at fighting than the brave, but he cannot build. Close by are some enemy braves. Command your warrior to attack them. Congratulations! You have defeated the enemy. They are no match for your warrior's sword. This is a preacher. He can convert enemy followers to your cause. Command your preacher to attack the enemy warriors. He will stop them and use his chance to convert them to your tribe. Do not disturb your preacher while he preaches to the enemy. Congratulations. You have turned the enemy warriors into loyal followers. Worship this obelisk to finish the fighting section of the tutorial. Ah. Stoneheads grant you temporary gifts. To worship this stone head, press the shaman button and press action on the head. Ah. select the lightning spell. Press spell building menu button to bring up the spell menu. Move the highlight to lightning and press action. Move the pointer over the guard tower and press cast spell. Congratulations, you have destroyed the guard tower. Pray at this totem pole to trigger a land bridge. Ah. Worshipping vaults of knowledge will provide you with new spells and building plans. To worship here, press the shaman button and press action ah. on the vault. Select the blast spell from the spell menu. Move to the enemy brave standing on the islands and uh -huh. press cast spell. The last brave is slightly out of your current spell range. However, the higher you are, the further your spells will reach. Command the shaman to enter the guard tower 
to give you the height you need. Congratulations. You have killed all the Braves. Worship this obelisk to finish the spell casting section of the tutorial. This is the settlement of your enemy, the Dakini tribe. The Dakini Vault of Knowledge contains the key to your victory. You must find a way to cross the water and reach it. You can worship this stone head to aid your cause. have received a single shot landbridge spell. Use it to create a path from where you stand to the land on which it is cast. Cast it over water to create a causeway. Casting on water has no effect, Shaman. You cannot build here. The plan cannot be placed on water.
Shaman, you have stolen the warrior training hut plan. Build one to train warriors ready for conquest. Your tribe is small. Four huts should breed enough followers for you to attack the Dakini. Rest some braves in your huts, and they will create mana for your spells. You cannot build here. Your plan is too far from other buildings. Try building a guard tower to start a new settlement. Your settlement is thriving, Shaman. Braves resting in huts are one way of creating mana. Mana gives you the power to cast spells and train followers. One or more of your people cannot get to this point. Lightning spell is a devastating weapon and much more powerful than blast. It kills enemy followers and sets fire to trees and buildings.
tu scatti. Tu scatti. and gain some of her manner.
Tsunami. 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 Kai. Kai. Ha. 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 Oh, no, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Tsunami. 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 
Hi. You cannot build here. The ground is not flat enough to build on. You will need to find another site.
done. You have killed the enemy's shaman and gained some of her mana. killed, Shaman. But provided you have some followers left, you will return to life at the reincarnation site. Kondaya?
You have killed the enemy's shaman and gained some of her mana. some of her manner.
Tsunami. of your buildings has been destroyed, Shaven. The land where it stood is now damaged and will take some time to become fertile again. Hey, 
哎。哎
cannot build here. Your plan is too close to other buildings. Try moving it further away.
kill my shape. But provided you have some followers left, you will return to life at the reincarnation site.
哎哎！哎哎哎！哎
No, One or more of your people cannot get to this point. Hey! 
One or more of your people cannot get to this point.
过来。哎哎，过来。哎哎。哎哎哎！过来！哎哎！过来！哎哎！哎哎，过来！哎哎哎！
You have killed the enemy shaman and gained some of her mana.
Uh... 
Yippee ki yay! Yippee ki yay!